Hi everyone, in today's discussion we are going to be covering the Battle of Brandywine or the Battle of Brandywine Creek. We'll start with a quick overview of the battle. This battle took place on September 11, 1777 in Chad's Ford, PA. The purpose of this battle was to keep Howe from being able to cross and to take Philadelphia. Washington had placed his troops along Brandywine Creek at the fords in an effort to keep Howe from being able to cross over. He thought he had covered all of them, but unfortunately he hadn't. And Howe, forgive my pronunciation, ordered General Wilhelm von Niehausen to cross at Chad's Ford and with the rest of Howe's army crossing further up along the creek. Now the fighting went on for hours. There was stiff resistance from the Continentals. Eventually, Howe's army was able to overrun the Continentals and the line collapsed, leading to a Continental retreat. Washington then ordered Nathaniel Green to the back to act as the rear guard so that they wouldn't be overrun and captured. Now the troops were able to escape, but they were badly beaten, and this loss allowed Howe to be able to take Philadelphia. According to Alan Eastby in his article, Battle of Brandywine, Setback for the Continental Army, this battle displayed Washington's generalship at its worst and at its best. Washington had no idea how his army would be able to cross where it did, and he underestimated the marching ability of his opponent and his opponent's daring. But, according to East Bay, he had covered his flanks in front and his scouts did not fail him. Now, according to a guide to the battlefields of the American Revolution by Theodore P. Savez and J. David Dameron, they argue that this loss was due to Washington's abysmal intelligence service and his failure to use his interior to defeat widely separated enemy wings. But, they both agree that the importance of this battle and the importance of this location is because this continental loss allowed the occupation of Philadelphia. Now, conservation efforts for the Battle of Brandywine have really been picking up within the last 20 years. There had been some effort, but Brandywine was always in danger of being overtaken by the suburbs of Philadelphia as they were being developed. The Chester County Planning Commission has actually written an entire book on their plan to preserve the battlefield. It, I read through some of it and it's very fascinating. And if you want to take a look at it, I highly recommend it. In 1996, Congress authorized the National Park Service under Public Law 104-333 to gather information on the significance of, current condition of, and the threats to Revolutionary War and War of 1812 sites. In 2000, with the conclusion of the study, the National Park Service concluded that Brandywine Battlefield was one of the nation's 30 Priority One battlefields, which places it at the highest threat level. This meant it was at the highest threat level of not being preserved. This began a long journey to preserve Brandywine for, and save it from development. They've saved about 116 acres so far, and the National Park Service American Battlefields Protection Program has identified it as among the most intact, largely unprotected battlefield in the nation, meriting its top priority, being because it is now in danger of being developed because it is not protected. As of 2020, they're still trying to secure a lot of this battlefield and make sure that it's preserved. While saving over 100 acres is fantastic, the Brandywine Battlefield actually covers about 35,000 acres, so there is still a long way to go and to be able to preserve this battlefield. But there is a small national park there. Most people actually think that what is there is all of the battlefield. It's not. There's still a lot left to collect, but it is an excellent place to go and visit and to experience just a small portion of this battle. Um, this battlefield is essential for being preserved because not only was it the largest battle of the revolution, it also represents that the Continentals thought hope was lost. They were in retreat again, and it seemed that all hope was lost with Philadelphia falling. But even though they were battered and bruised, they were able to get away and they were able to persevere and fight another day. They were able to come back and eventually they were able to secure the victory, and achieve the freedom and liberty that they had been fighting for. And so while the Battle of Brandywine Battlefield is very small at the moment, hopefully they can continue the conservation efforts to secure the rest of this battlefield. And I would highly recommend visiting this small bit and helping them work towards conserving the rest. So thank you.